Yo, what's going on, everybody? It's your boy Tactical Chaos One, and we are here with Cyberpunk 2077 Best Cyber Builds video with a little bit of gameplay mixed in there. We are on PlayStation 5, so the game will look a little bit better than it did on PS4, and it's actually running a hell of a lot smoother, too. Anyway, if you guys are new to the channel, thank you guys for watching, and welcome to Tactical Chaos. I really appreciate your guys' support, so for real. So if you guys are enjoying the video and you guys want to help me grow this channel and make it into something way dope, then hit that subscribe button real quick. Don't forget to leave a like and a comment and let me know what you guys think of the video. Now, as far as cyber builds and cyberpunk, I am still building up mine. I am not perfect on it, but I'm definitely going to show you what I got going on right now. And I hope that you guys will enjoy the video. And if you guys got any tips on how I can make my build better, go ahead and let me know. I am, I'm always uh, up for some, you know, tips and, you know, hints to make my builds better. Alright, let's go. We're going to go take out this dock of Militech workers real quick. And demonstrate how the build works for you guys at the same time. First off, we are going to go ahead and hit them with a breach protocol. System resets definitely one of my favorite quick hacks. So I will also be going over the dopest quick hacks for uh, stealth gameplay that I got right now. And this is a pretty damn bu good build. It's not all the way legendary, but it's just about pure legendary um, for a lot of the shit that matters. Let's go ahead and hit him with a sonic shock so we can deafen his dumb ass and go up there and smoke him. And that's why we hit them with the Sonic Shock, so they don't got time to react. Alright, we'll go ahead and cloak up real quick. Alright, sorry, bud, but you're gonna have to commit suicide. Not capable. Dumbass. Who did you stand a chance? Huh? What a phantom Anything cool in here? Nope, I don't see nothing. I will personally find you. What the hell? Hopefully we find some good Militech loot here. I will personally find you and bury you. Yeah, it's definitely not looking that way, homeboy. Huh? I 
I love the uh, system reset with, with my with my cyber drive or cyber deck. It is fucking OP, dude. So it's looking like we got another uh, hostile around here somewhere. We gotta find where this fucker's at and take him out. And then we should be done with the um, clearing the area and we can go ahead and get on with the, whatever the side mission is. can't find the last house now. Whatever. If he runs into us, then he runs into us. Alright. Well, well, we'll get on with the mission. Oh yeah, a lot of crafting parts here. Alright, download the incriminating records and send them to the picture. Alright. Install some malware on this bitch and we'll get on with the gameplay and the video and then I'll go ahead and show you guys the build specs that I'm working with right now. Ooh, hell yeah. Come on, there's gotta be some good Militech equipment somewhere around here though. here guys let's go and like I said I told you guys I'd show you the way I got going on with my build so here let's go into that real quick first I'm gonna go ahead and level this up um let's see let's go over that athletics all right so the stealth build what you want first off is you're gonna definitely want to build up your cool attributes um along with your ninjutsu ninjutsu is the shit dude so uh you got increased movement speed while sneaking by 20 percent um increased damage dealt by silenced weapons 25 percent while sneaking um perform non-lethal aerial takedowns so like when you're up high, above them on a building jump down and take those fuckers out and then assassin this is an awesome passive perk you deal 15 percent more damage to human enemies so that works really well. You want to be able to do as much damage as you can with your weapon. Otherwise, you know, if you can't kill them in one clip, they could alert somebody else to try these guys see me using my uh, Sonic Shock Quick Hack. And then we got... Where is it? Oh, yeah. Increased headshot damage outside of combat. So if you're not in combat, you know, you're in sneaking mode, you got a 20% bonus in headshots, which is really awesome and then you got immunity to poison and increased critical hit chance by seven percent while you're sneaking 
And then technical ability is awesome for your tech weapons. Intelligence is great because for an awesome stealth cyber build in this game, you definitely got to have ninjutsu and quick hacking and breach protocol. Intelligence and cool, in my opinion, are the most important for a stealth build. So build this shit up as fast as you can. I haven't built it up all the way on this new profile because I just started playing again after I hopped on a PS5 with the upgrade after about a year of not playing Cyberpunk. So I did restart it all the way from the beginning. So my intelligence and my cool ain't all the way built up, but my build already is super dope. So let's go over my quick hack protocols. All right. Right here, um, unlocks mass vulnerability. Uh, reduces physical resistance for all enemies in the network by 30% for three minutes. This um, disables all the cameras in the network for three minutes. And then you got... Uh, Mass vulnerability reduces the resistance of enemies in the network by 30%. And the Ice Pick Demon reduces all quick hack costs by additional ramp 1 RAM unit. Alright. Now let's go over here to quick hacking. So we got quick hack still 30% more damage. That's very important so your quick hacks are more effective. Um, allow RAM to recover during combat. Recover 12 RAM units every minute. That's awesome. That's how you're able to do such um, high, uh, high level quick hacks. Like the ultimate quick hack legendaries I got. How I'm able to use them like one after another quickly is you get Bios and Energy. Um, Bios and Energy uh, at level 3. Quick hacks deal 100% more damage to unaware targets. That's very important for stealth, so that way when you are you haven't blown your cover, your quick hacks are dealing 100% more damage to unaware targets. That's a lot, right? For real. Um, reduce the cyber deck RAM re um, for quick hacks on devices. That's not really much for uh, enemies. Increase quick hack duration by 50%, which is like so status effects and shit, dude. Like if they're on fire. Yeah, it lasts 50% longer or contagion poison and then reveal and uh, I spy reveals enemies netrunners trying to hack you so you can find out where they are and fucking take them out before they get too effective on you and you can see I still got a lot of spots to unlock but my build is working absolutely fantastic as it is I mean this build is super dope so let's go over to my inventory and then I'll show you my cyber mods so for my gear, what I got going on is I got uh, I got legendary hats, but this hat right here has a 12.5 percent bonus to damage uh, bonus damage to high threat and moderate threat enemies. So if I was going up against very high threat enemies, I would put on my King Tao legendary, which has a 25 percent bonus damage to very high threat enemies. But there's no point in rocking that if I'm just fighting medium to regular high threat enemies. But I'll go ahead and put it on right now anyway. And then I got my face mask, which is the uh, Akaya, um, Akai Ani Titanium uh, Boost Net Mempo. It's basically the Ghost of Tsushima mask. It's got 6% critical hit damage and a 15% headshot damage multiplier on it, which is awesome for me and in stealth because that helps you, uh, the headshot multiplier is a beast right there. My vest that I got on right now is the uh, NCPD Reinforced Ballistic Vest with 8% bonus damage to high threat and medium threat enemies. Which is actually why I end. That one's got 15%, so right now we have a 25 or 23% bonus damage to high and medium threat enemies. Um, then I got the Frayed Scav Combat Shirt with 155 armor on it. I got the Gold Fury Neotech Bulletproof Legendary Pants with Chemical Resistance, Electrical Resistance, and Thermal Resistance, 25%, and increases the, uh, or, and carrying capacity by 30. My boots are the Miltoxic uh, Ceramic Layer Combat Exo Jacks, with, they allow me to land silently, so with my reinforced tendons, with me jumping hella high and shit, like a ninja jumping all over the place. They don't hear me when I land, and that's awesome. Especially when I have my optical camo activated. Because they could hear you jumping around even while you're cloaked. So it's good to have, you know, soft landing on there. Optical camo. This grants invisibility for 15 seconds. And the cooldown is 45 seconds. But uh, that's a lot 
um, better than the regular one um, because this legendary is only 45 seconds. The last one I had, it took 60 seconds to cool down. And trust me, 15 seconds is a lot um, of time for a cool down. It helps out a lot. And 15 seconds for the cloaked um, invisibility uh, mechanic is not that long. I mean, that's extremely quick when it comes to you using your cloak. So use it well and, you know, only use it when you need it. All right, let's go over to my cyber mods. This right here, the king of my stealth gameplay. You have to have an awesome cyber deck, dude. Cyber decks are extremely important in my opinion. So I got the Tetronic Rippler Mark IV Legendary Iconic Cyber Deck with 10 bu uh, base RAM, 8 buffer size, and 6 slots. This allows me to perform quick hack on quick hacks on targets and devices while scanning. Ultimate quick hacks can spread once, which is like system reset, suicide, detonate a grenade. Now I can handle it. Now I can get two people to detonate a grenade, two people to shoot themselves in the head, two people system reset. And system reset is the ultimate stealth quick hack. Kills them quick, fast, and very quietly. Um, reduces RAM cost of, of ultimate quick hacks by three, which is a awesome because detonated grenades suicide and system reset are usually high as fuck to uh use you know so having that ram reduced by three is trust me it's awesome and then uh reduces quick hack upload time by 75 percent quick hacks upload 75 percent faster damn quick hack cooldown reduced by 45% so that's even that's but way dope that's why you guys see me be able to use system reset hella quick detonator grenade hella quick again after I used it suicide hella quick instead of them last taking two minutes to cool down they now take like I think uh, 50 seconds to cool down all right so let's go check out the quick hacks that I got because this is very important too system reset cripples a target's nervous system causing them to lose consciousness Target will not make any noise when losing consciousness. This usually takes 15 sec or 8 seconds to upload, and it takes 120 seconds to cool down. Now it takes like 50 seconds to cool down, and it uploads, for, I think, in like 3 seconds. And it spreads to another one, so this works twice now, or on two people if they're close enough. And then we got Detonator Grenade ultimate quick hack this is a legendary quick hack lethal forces targets to detonate a grenade in their own hand uh the type of explosion and its effects are based on the type of target or the target's type of grenade passive uh passive perk on this quick hack is while this while equipped defeating an enemy with any explosion reduces the ram cost of the next ultimate quick hack by two can stack up to four times that's dope Sonic Shock. This is another one that's really important for stealth gameplay. This deafens the target, makes them, as you guys seen a little bit ago, it deafens them, makes it uh, to where, say, if you unload a clip on them and you need to reload, they can't alert their homies. So you got time to lay into them and kill them again without them alerting people. It just It works a lot so you can take them down without them, you know, giving away your position. And then, and then the passive on that is while equipped enemies under the effect of quick hacks are cut off from the local network, preventing them from communicating with their allies. And then we got Snaps and Burnout. This is a legendary lethal combat type. <coughs> lethal deals moderate damage that scales higher based on how much health the target is missing. Effective against enemies with health below 50%, less effective against drones, mechs, and robots. Passive, uh, while equipped, defeating an enemy with any quick hack causes nearby enemies to panic. And then we got Contagion, which is just chemical damage, and it spreads to three targets. And it has a 20% more damage from the Contagion with the epic one. Suicide, <coughs> this is another quick, ultimate quick hack, super dope. And it forces them to commit suicide. And because it's an ultimate quick hack, it can be uploaded to two enemies at the same time that are within range of each other. So it makes it for a super dope ass stealth build with the cyber deck. Remember that Tetratronic Rippler Mark IV Legendary Iconic Cyber Deck is an awesome one for uh, stealth cyber builds. And then I got my Mantis Blades Legendary with uh, physical damage on them. I don't know why my loader's not in there 
and then a hammering eight rotor it increases mantis blade attack speed by 45 percent and then for my legs we got reinforced tendons perform uh, you can jump once and then jump again while you're in air then we got optical camo legendary i already explained that to you and subdermal legendary armor increases armor by 300 <coughs> along with Karishnikov slows down time while you're sliding and aiming. Synaptic Accelerator slows down time while you be spotted by enemies, allowing you to slow down time by 30% for two seconds so you can take them out before they can, you know, get a shot off or alert anybody to your presence. Biometer instantly restores 50% health when health drops below 15%. Cooldown is three minutes. Micro generator when your health drops below 15% release an electric shock that deals damage equal to 40% of the target enemy's max health applies shock to enemies as well And then we got extra disk space extra one ram unit uh, Limbic system enhancement increases critical hit chance by 4% and Memory boost defeating an enemy instantly recovers two cyber deck rams Making this a super dope ass cyber build that I'm still working on is still in the works, so it's definitely not done yet. But I hope you guys, if you guys want to check it out, I'm sure it'll work really well for you guys. I do have a legendary katana as well, which is pretty fun to use. Got 5% 5, 5 critical hit chance with 23% critical hit damage. <coughs> I am using the uh, iconic um, assault rifle, Moron Libre, with the suppressor on it. And we're going to take that side and put this one on go and then we got two combat amplifiers re increases the chance for status effect and I do have a lot of other dope ass weapons that I can switch around for my gameplay but this is the uh, arsenal I'm running with at the moment the sure sniper rifle smart weapon pretty dope Hope you guys enjoyed the video. It's Tactical Chaos 1. Do not forget to subscribe to the channel. Help us grow this channel and make it something dope. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you on the next video.